Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to 10 times your sales with Google ads and use the keyword planner tool correctly so that you can increase your sales significantly. Now, this is literally one of the biggest things which I see is a consistent problem with a lot of people that use Google ads and that is they don't know how to really use the keyword planner tool to their advantage. So I'm going to be giving you three different ways that you guys can actually use the keyword planner tool the right way and get the best bang out of your buck. Because when it comes to Google ads, the reality is if you don't use the right keywords for your products, no matter how good your offer is or no matter how good the product is, it's really not going to get as much of a result as you want it to. And one of the most important tools when it comes to actually finding success with Google is using this keyword planner tool to consistently achieve good results with the Google shopping ads. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I just recently started a Google ad store and got it all the way up to $50,000 in a matter of a two to three months. And I've released videos on that, which you can check out. After this video, I'll leave the links in the description. But that was only possible because of my use with the keyword planner tool and because I was able to find those good keywords. But without wasting any more time, let's find out exactly how to 10 times your sales with the keyword tool. So the first thing you will actually have to do if you really want to use the keyword planner tool correctly is to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's really an amazing thing that I would appreciate tremendously if you guys can just quickly just tap that like button down below. Okay, hopefully you have done that. But the real first thing I want to start talking about is the keyword that you should be using when searching up a specific product with the Google Keyword Planner tool. So whenever you find a specific product which you want to add to your Google Shopping campaign or your Google Search campaign, or just use Google Ads in general for that product, you wanna always be searching up a very, very broad keyword related to that product. And I'm going to be giving you an example of one of my past winning products, which was the portable air conditioner. I made a video on this as well, but this was the product right here. Mine was very, very similar to this product. And it was just a mini portable air conditioner, which people could easily carry, take from place to place, etc. So it wasn't like one of those big ACs, which you often see advertised and it didn't cost a big amount of money. In fact, I was selling this specific AC for around 40 to $50. But when I began product research for this specific product, I didn't simply start out by typing in the keyword portable air conditioner fan or portable humidifier or keywords which were kind of too big and too lengthy because one thing you want to understand which can really help you 10 times your sales with the keyword planner tool is that the keyword planner tool needs to have a broad search in order to really get the best bang out of your buck and to give you the best result. So what I mean by this is if you were to search up portable air conditioner during that time that I was addressing this product or add any other words to that specific keyword, what would happen is Google would have too many keywords to actually give you a good amount of results. And I'm going to be showing you guys the example right now. So let's kind of go on over to our keyword planner tool and see exactly what the keyword planner tool does when you search up a keyword, which is too big. So let's say, for example, you wanted to search up the keyword portable air conditioner, air conditioner with fan, something like that. It's kind of a broad, broad keyword. And, and as you guys can see, we have a few keywords come up, but if you look at their monthly search volume, you can see that for the specific keywords we typed in, we got very, very few keywords and they barely have any search volume. I mean, 10 is not enough. The minimum I recommend to really get the best results possible and even have a chance of selling a product is a minimum of 20,000 per month in total for all of the keywords you plan to use. But as you guys can see, if we add all of these up, this is nowhere close to 20,000. In fact, it's not even over a hundred. So even though the main keyword, which we just typed in includes one of the main keywords which is air conditioner because we give google keyword planner tool too much data to work with and instead did not give us the results that we wanted so if we go back to the google doc one of the main things which i recommend to in order to really get the best result with the keyword planner tool is to go very very broad so if you want to sell a portable air conditioner don't be searching up these kinds of words where it's too lengthy instead try just searching up air conditioner and go from there so if we change up this specific search to just include the keywords air conditioner and look at the new results we'll see a big big difference and make sure first of all to have the location as united states because this affects the results tremendously but once we do that we can see that the results change significantly for this specific keyword and it goes up over a few million searches each month as you can see in the month of july it's alone at 10 million but again if you were to add any other products to this specific keyword maybe air conditioner small fan or something like that what's going to happen is it's going to decrease tremendously as you guys see it went from around 10 million to just 
1760 for that given month so as you guys can see having the right keyword makes a big big difference when it comes to the searches and this is one of the biggest hacks which can literally 10 times your result don't think that just because you have a specific keyword or the main keyword inside the search that you're just doing that you'll find a lot of keywords in fact you want it to be as broad as possible even if you're selling an air conditioner go broad and do the keyword research from there because when you type in air conditioner then you're going to find more specific keywords like over here portable air conditioner was one of the main keywords which popped up in fact i was ranking for this keyword the most and getting the most results out of this specific keyword rather than this keyword because air conditioner is too broad to target but it's perfect to use for the keyword planner tool to give you the results that you want so as you guys can see you shouldn't be making use of these broad keywords only in the keyword planner tool not inside your product descriptions or titles because they are too broad rather go very specific once you have a lot of keywords lined up but that's one of the main things that i see as an issue but if you follow it correctly can literally 10 times your results now let's move on to the second way of using the keyword planner tool correctly so you can actually 10 times your results and that is inserting a website link now what do i mean by this exactly well if we go ahead and go back to the keyword planner tool main page this one here and if we click on discover new keywords if you scroll just a little bit to the bottom you can see that there's a specific section which says enter a domain to use as a filter and again to show you guys an example for this specific trick what i want to do is i want to take you on over to bestsellers.com which is one of the biggest drop shipping stores out there and it does really a good job of ranking on google ads for their specific product listings but they're also selling a portable air conditioner as you guys can see and during the time i was selling this product they were ranking for it as well but what you want to do once you go to a specific page which contains your product is to simply copy the main url not including the variant information as you guys can see this is the main url that you should be copying once you copy it go back to your keyword planner tool and basically search it up here inside of this specific section to so where it says enter a domain to use as a filter you want to go ahead and paste it in and once you do that you can add a few more keywords but instead if you want to just find keywords related to this specific domain itself go ahead and click on this specific second option which says start with the website so once you click that you'll see that it just gives you the option to enter the website nothing else and then you can either use the entire site as you guys see or you can use only the page which you provided in this case since we provided a page which includes our main product we're gonna hit the second option and hit get results what's gonna happen is now Google is gonna go out and try to find the specific keywords this page is using the most or ranking for the most as you guys can see uh, different search results came up and in July the specific keywords which this page ranks for gets around 7 million searches in total if we scroll down we can see all of the specific keywords which they currently may be ranking for but definitely include in their website and Google is only able to come up with this data because Google's algorithm which basically crawls all of the websites meaning it just goes through the entire description the title and it tries to identify those main keywords which describe the product they're selling so Google did the same thing for this specific product page on bestsellers and what it did is it identified these specific keywords which it can potentially rank the product bestsellers is selling so this is an amazing way to actually be using the keyword planner tool to actually boost your results with Google Ads in general and that's simply because whatever product you want to sell just find it on somebody else's website enter their website URL here and then you can just scroll through and do the keyword research that way so there's no real room for guesses with the keywords because in the beginning if you don't enter a specific URL you kind of have to guess the main keyword or the broad you kind of have to guess the main keyword or the broad keyword which describes the product and then go from there but here simply looking at the specific website is enough to get you enough results so this is an amazing way to be doing product research in addition if you want to kind of take it to the next level and look at the entire website and as a whole and look at which main keywords the website is ranking for you can go ahead and click on the specific link at the top and choose this first option right here and click get results once you do that what you're gonna see is that the results change completely and that's simply because now Google is looking at their website as a whole and trying to identify which keywords they mostly rank for so if we rank by the most searches at the top we can see that again air conditioner is one of the ones at the top but they also have a lot of products which are related to LED lights eyelash extensions dog bed smartwatch Android so as you guys can see clearly they have products from all over the board 
and we can see they have a lot of different products so this is again an amazing way to do product research and 10 times your sales with google because literally this is an entire list of potential keywords and potential products from a website which is already successful so all you have to do is search it up on google and search it up on aliexpress see if you can find a good product to match the product listings that are already getting advertised and then go from there so again another amazing way to be doing product research or just using the keyword planner tool to literally 10 times your sales but let's move on to our third and final way which is using number one and number two together now if we go ahead and go back to the keyword planner tool go back to this page and click on the discover new keywords option we can see that you can either for this specific section enter a keyword and enter a domain so you want to do both let's say you want to still sell the air conditioner but you're not really sure whether the website is old enough to be giving you a good amount of search results with the second option so what you do instead is you enter the domain as a filter and here you can enter the main keyword which describes the product so air conditioner and just hit get results and from here as you guys can see results come up for that specific product and it is much different than the, what we were looking at previously as you can see only 4.2 million in the month of july when earlier it was much much more so results are going to vary based on which option you choose right at the top but if you go down and scroll down we can see that again even though you chose this option there are very very specific keywords which were directly relate to the product you want to sell so simple as going through the keywords using my other strategies which i mentioned in a lot of my other videos to kind of find out whether these keywords are worth ranking for but as you guys clearly see there are multiple different ways which you can be using the keyword planner tool to be getting the results you want with google ads and remember the keywords that you use determine 99 percent of your success with google so use all of the three ways that i mentioned in this video but if you found any type of value in this video quickly smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe again if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time